Leonard Love Metlick is an engineer, writer, and life coach. He has previously published Cops Lie and the Success and Confidence Manual. He recently published a new book entitled Grounders in collaboration with Eurobox. And he's now connected with us as a special guest for Conoscere TV today to present his new literary work. Hi, Leonard. Thank you for accepting our invitation. Hi, Geneva. Thanks for accepting me. Would you please tell us what is your new book, Grounders, about, please? Grounders are cup slang. Um, uh, um, and it, it's like uh, a husband uh, kills a wife, uh, a bar fight with a knife or gun. It's, it's basically um, um, short, uh, one or two, three days, um, solve cases that um, uh, cops uh, love because it gives them a lot of uh, uh, credit for their uh, promotion or, or rank in, in the police department. Uh, but in, in this particular book, Grounders, uh, a murder of a cook uh, in a restaurant that's frequented by cops uh, involves uh, uh, the Chinese Tong gangs in New York City. Um, and uh, Peruvian rebels who want to overthrow their government by using magic rocks that were uh, left them um, from a, uh, uh, the mountains of Machu Picchu in Peru uh, and is like a stargate. And uh, they use these rocks to try to uh, uh, destroy the uh, Chinese tongues. But it also involves um, a, um, a romantic love interest between the detective and the granddaughter of the uh, Chinese tongues. Um, so uh, this involves uh, a whole bunch of uh, uh, things. It involves uh, murder, love, greed, drugs, um, all uh, with the backdrop of a murder investigation of a cook in a, in a restaurant. And that's the premise of the book. And it goes through um, a whole bunch of uh, police procedures that are uh, typical in not only in New York City, but everywhere throughout the world. So uh, it's an interesting book. Um, a lot of it is based on fact uh, because I work with um, uh, New York City Police Department uh, maintaining uh, their uh, uh, police precincts. And uh, I have done this for about 30 years. So. I have a wealth of information about police procedures and, and actually how a murder investigation is conducted. So that's the premise of the book. And how long did it take to write this book? What's the most difficult part of writing a good crime plot like yours? It took about uh, two years to write this book. But uh, the problem uh, with um, a semi-factual crime novel is you want to put together the, the um, personalities of the cops involved. In this case, the detective's name is Tony Philadelphia. And he is uh, an interesting person. He's been on the police force about 12 years, uh, six as a detective. And he um, meets all sorts of obstacles in the past to uh, solving this murder. And that's, I, I think, any uh, crime novelist is uh, how to put together the backdrop of a murder investigation with the personalities of the cops involved. That's for what concerns the author side. And what about the public of this book? Who's the target reader? Who should buy and read the book? Well, I think anybody who writes a, a real uh, whodunit, and it's a page turner. Uh, it, it, it's very fast action. Uh, it involves a lot of different groups. Um, uh, the um, um, Peruvian rebels who want to overthrow their, their uh, government. It involves the Chinese Tongs who uh, have a big uh, presence in New York City and elsewhere. And it also involves the public who want to learn how actual police solve a murder investigation. And like I said, I go into the actual day in, day out, uh, I go in how they do an autopsy, how the police track down uh, criminals, how they look for clues, um, all, all of that is involved. So I think that anybody who wants to learn 
one about how a murder investigation is solved. And also, uh, it, it's a good mystery novel, an actual whodunit page turner. I think that uh, any public who wants to buy this will be uh, enjoying this book. So what were the very first comments you received about your book like? Uh, that it is a page turner, that um, it's nonstop action, and that it is a, a real um, true um, uh, investigation from police procedures, whether it's New York City or elsewhere. Because I've, I've talked to many other detectives um, uh, throughout the country, and they all have the same thing. They say the ground is, is the same exact thing everywhere you go, not only in this country, but also throughout the world, in Rome and Paris and London. So it's the same uh, everywhere you go. So I think whoever reads this book, whether it's in the United States or elsewhere, Europe or Asia, will, will find that it is so um, true to life in, in any country that you live in. I totally agree. I'm happy that your feedback is completely positive so far, and we want to wish you very good luck with your book. Thank you for your time today. Thank you very much, Inverra. Grounders combines everything. Murder, love, greed, drugs, and rebels amid the backdrop of detectives trying to solve a murder mystery. Leonard Love Matlick's new crime book is now available in bookstores and digital platforms. It's a publication by Eurobooks.